Okay, everybody, welcome back to DC. Today's a little bit busier day than the other day. There's a lot of traffic on Constitution Avenue. Yeah, it's uh, Wednesday. And you know why? Because people come in to work on Wednesday, especially Wednesday, just to, you know, check in with work. So a lot of people come to work on Wednesday. So. It's also a very cool morning. I think it's about 50 degrees. So, so uh, summer is almost officially over. As I mentioned earlier in the vlog, summer is almost officially over and it will be fall and it'll be cooler now. Yeah, but I won't rule out like a short little Indian summer at some point. Homeless guy. Yeah, he's new. I haven't seen him before. Yeah, well, you know. A lot more homeless on the streets of Washington nowadays. Especially now in the winter time. Some of them will be going to shelters, but a lot of them don't really like going to shelters because there's a lot of they don't bad stuff going on at shelters. You know, drug dealers, pimps and all that. And backwards. Is hat uh, wearing backwards still a thing? I don't know. I thought it was not a thing anymore. Oh, green hair. I don't see too many green hair here. I mean, this is not really one of those cities where people, young people, have green hair. All right, down at the metro. What time the train is arriving? Hopefully soon. Look at that. What's going on with that? Uh, cracks. Yeah, here comes the metro train, but it's going the other way. That's not my train. We got three minutes. That's going the other way. We need the one coming from here. Ah. That's the train I take coming to work. The Blue Line train. Largo. And that comes from that comes from the Pentagon. And as for my train, uh, probably about two more minutes. Lights are blinking. You know what that means? It means the train is coming. I can hear it. I can hear it. I can feel it. Here it comes. Here comes the train. Uh, here it comes. Here it comes. Uh, uh, when you want to come. When you wanna come, relax, don't do it. When you wanna suck to it, relax, don't do it. When you wanna come. Hey. Oh yeah. Go up the escalator here at the metro station. It's a busy day. A lot of people actually decided to come to work today. Yeah, well, you know, I guess they figured. Let's get up off of our asses and get to the office. I don't know if anybody misses us or... But let's, let's go to the office. Let's actually go to the office what some people, a lot of people thought. All the lonely people, where do they all come from? All the lonely people, where do they all belong? Ah, look at all the lonely people. Ah, Look at all the lonely people. Okay. Okay, everybody. I'm back at the Pizza Hut. But this time it's a different Pizza Hut. A little further out, but a lot more space, as you can see. That's my... 
chicken carbonara here at Pizza Hut. Okay, we're done with Domino's. Now it's back out into the world of the nice weather here in Washington, D.C. Unfortunately, the sun is behind me. And uh, I apologize for that. I'm being backlit. This is where my dermatologist used to be. I used to come here to see my dermatologist, but she, he's not my dermatologist anymore. He would still be if I still had the same insurance, but I don't. So I have to switch dermatologists. Anyway, it's a beautiful, bright, sunny day. Nice and warm. It's about 77, 78 degrees here in Washington. And uh, we're here on the corner of 20th and K. That used to be a CVS on that corner. Yeah, I used to go there by uh, get my uh, prescriptions all the time, but CVS closed for some reason. There used to be a, I think it's still there. There's, there used to be a pizza place down at the end of the block that I would get pizza at, but I don't know if it's still there. DC Pizza or Downtown Pizza or something like that. I don't know. Somewhere down there. Things change. Things change. Okay, uh, here's another one of those Jack's locations that closed. I, used to, I think all the Jack's Fresh locations in DC closed. This one I used to go to all the time back in the day, but now it's gone. All the Jack's locations are gone. Which is too bad. They had good food and they were pretty convenient. And price-wise, they were a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit up there, but you had because you had to, you had to eat, uh, you had to, you had to pay by the pound, and I think, uh, you know, just a small little helping, the minimum is like thirteen dollars, so thirteen dollars and up was your typical, uh, you know, the price you paid at the Jack's Fresh. Yeah. There are very few of those kind of places nowadays left in D.C. But anyway, there's a lot more people today here in D.C. than, than uh, the other day when I was vlogging the other day. The streets were virtually empty, but today a lot more people. I think a lot of people decided to go to work today. Since it's Wednesday and all. Yeah, well, you know. This used to be a tobacco shop. This used to be a tobacco shop. They used to have a little wooden Indian standing on, in the window there. This used to be the GNC. The sign's still up there, but the store is gone. Actually, no, this is the GNC. Oh, no, I think this used to be the... This used to be the tobacco shop. Yeah. Used to have a wooden Indian on the, in the window there. A lot of places have closed, especially here in the downtown area, since the, uh, since the pandemic. A lot of places didn't survive the pandemic. <sighs> It's almost a shame to come back to the office when it's such a beautiful day. I'd rather be uh, outside, maybe biking. Well, I really can't bike right now because I can't, I can't reach the handlebar because my shoulder is still, you know, still kind of hurt. It's been, uh, it's been about eight weeks since my surgery. My arm is still not, uh, my shoulder is still not 100%, but it's getting there. It's getting there though. I hope to be fine soon. I can ride my bike again around the streets of DC. 
do all the things that I was doing before. Okay, he went back. There he goes. Oh, okay. Look at that squirrel. He's just kind of lounging around. You know? I'm just gonna lay down here and relax for a little bit. Yeah. This is the life. Dude, are you videoing me? Stop it, dude. Stop videoing me. Stop filming me, dude. The next day. Alrighty. Back at Costco. It's the constant need for supplies and, and food and... Yeah. I think, uh, but the good news is it's a Thursday. On Thursdays, Costco isn't so busy. Well, it's busy all the time, but on Thursdays, it's not as busy as it is on a week on a weekend on a weekend this place is a zoo i try to avoid this place uh, during the weekend as much as possible but sometimes it's not possible but it being a it being a thursday uh, i thought i'd take advantage of the weekday and go to costco uh, you know, take advantage of the lesser people here at the Costco. Okay, here's the first thing on my list is croissant. Let's get this one in the middle here. It's uh, six dollars for a pack of nine croissants. Six dollars. Well, it looks like the Halloween is coming up and they're starting to sell pumpkins how much are the pumpkins eight dollars yeah eight dollars for the pumpkins not too bad oh, I need some water Let's see if I can carry it with one arm with my bad shoulder carry it with one arm and then just support it with my right arm I don't want to blow out my shoulder here that's the way to do it I need some tipi for my bunghole. <laughs> Get some tipi for my bunghole. Excuse me. Tipi for my bunghole. I need tipi for my bunghole. Tipi for my bunghole. Yeah, I got tipi, croissant, some water. Let's get some juice. The juice is loose. Where's the juice I usually get? Oh, this is what I usually get, mango nectar. This is good stuff, right? Get one of these mango nectar. This is $6 for the mango nectar. Mango, the nectar of the gods. All right, another fun day at the Costco. As usual, they closed the, uh, the usual uh, the usual area where I park over here, they're doing some construction. So I kind of have to park over here on the other side, which is really where I don't like to park, but I ain't got no choice. They closed that side, so I got to park over on this side. Okay, today I'm eating lunch at the Domino's. I ordered me some uh, fettuccine pasta. Here's the fettuccine pasta from Domino's. I will enjoy this. We got penne pasta, we got ham, we got mushroom. What more do you want? Okay, that was lunch here at Domino's. <coughs> I haven't been to the Domino's in a long time, so I thought I'd drop by and uh, have some Domino's. Usually I order Domino's pizza. This time I ordered the uh, fettuccine Alfredo here at Domino's, which is pretty good. Here at uh, Washington DC, of course, lunchtime. It's, uh, 
not a very it's not a very hot day it's kind of cool actually maybe I should have worn a jacket anyway it's Monday the beginning of the week and uh, beginning of the work week but uh, tomorrow I have the day off because I have physical therapy for my shoulder so I'm gonna work today and then tomorrow is physical therapy day I didn't know there was a Dunkin Donuts here do I feel like some Dunkin Donuts Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, this is uh, the corner of 14th and uh, L. I used to come down here a lot more often because there used to be a Filipino fast food place down there on Vermont called Hogi Boy. I don't know if you remember from my old vlogs. I used to go there a lot and have the spaghetti. But Hogi Boy uh, closed down about a year ago and I haven't been coming down here too often yep I miss Pogi Boy I miss the spaghetti at Pogi Boy sometimes I wish it would come back but uh, I don't think it'll come back all right let's uh, cross the street here and uh, and uh, let me drop by the old Pogi Boy location and see what's see what's over there now. Um, this used to be a Jack's Deli over here. I used to come down here all the time to eat, but is it still open? No, oh, no, it's a barber shop now. It used to be a Jack's Deli. Now it's a barber shop. See? Oh no, this is the that Jack's Deli. Oh, okay, they closed. I used to come down here sometimes to eat, but I guess they're closed now. Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, I haven't been down here in a long time because last time I was here, uh, as I was eating, I saw a big old uh, cockroach crawling around on the floor and that kind of made me lose my appetite. So I haven't been... I haven't really been back here <clears throat> ever since that day <clears throat> that day of the cockroach because it really threw me off to eating there big old cockroach rolling around the floor yeah yeah the poggy boy used to be here at the block food hall oh man looks like doesn't look like there's anything here now started with Pogi Boy and then and now oh no the block food hall oh man they're completely gone I mean see that uh, see after the block after Pogi Boy left uh, there was only Rose Avenue bakery and then even they left and now there's nothing here at the block hmm that's too bad. I used to eat there a lot. Yeah, here at the block <coughs> food hall. This is the block food hall in DC. There's also a block food hall in in Annandale. I think that place is still open. Yeah, that place is going strong because Annandale has a big uh, Korean community. So they would flock to that but this one in DC no it, it didn't last very long Pogi Boy left and then now everything else left from the block food hall which is too bad it's a pretty quiet day here today for some reason I'm kind of surprised Mondays usually a lot of people here downtown but today it's pretty quiet oh it is quiet kind of I am actually kind of surprised that it's this quiet here on a Monday here in downtown. Maybe it has something to do with the uh, the kids are back in school, so maybe maybe that was it. There's a few less tourists nowadays because the kids are back at school. You know, in the summertime when the kids are off. There's a lot of tourists and sometimes the tourists from the 
from the touristy area kind of overflows into the uh, this part of town, the downtown area. But now that the kids are back in school, I guess uh, there's no tourist uh, overflow. Yeah, it's quiet. <clears throat> it's too quiet. This is the Metropolitan AME Church here in downtown Washington, D.C. on M Street. It's one of the oldest uh, black churches here in Washington. It was founded in 19, uh, 1838. Uh, President Obama attended services here in 2013. Just, just after his uh, second inauguration. The Metropolitan AME Church, the uh, African Methodist Episcopal Church here on uh, M Street between 16th and 15th. Okay, I'm at the Ross. Ross Dress for Less. This is the favorite store of German in Venice. And I can't blame them. They got good stuff here. And at good prices. I mean, you just kind of just kind of have to look for good stuff. And since it's the middle of the week, maybe the good stuff is still around. Because usually on the weekends, all the good stuff is gone. It's been picked. So, let's see what we got. Still looking for Nikes. Sometimes they sell Nikes here. They sell Hoka's here. See these Hoka's? This is a brand new brand that's, that just kind of became popular over the last few months. I see a lot of people wearing Hoka's for some reason. I think people like it because it's, you know, like nice and chunky. Some people like it nice and chunky. Well, there's some Jordans. 62.99 you can't beat that deal but it's too big what is that size 13 oh, that's size 16 oh man that's like shaquille o'neal size i would buy it if it were in my size how about this one here what size is that nice nikes hmm. what size is that doesn't say yeah well they did have jordans here at the, at the ross Problem is there was only one, and it was size 16. If they were my size, I definitely would have bought it because it's only $63. Where can you find a pair of Air Jordans for $63? They usually run like $150, $160, you know. Okay, well, let's go to the next store. <laughs> The next door, next door is uh, TJ Maxx. In England, in the UK, TJ Maxx is known as TK Maxx. Because when TJ Maxx first went to England, there was already a store called uh, TJ Hughes. So to differentiate themselves from TJ Hughes, they replaced the J with a K and became TK Maxx. But here in America, as you can see, it is TJ Maxx. I don't exactly know what the TJ stands for. I know out in California, if you say TJ, it means Tijuana. But not here in the East Coast, TJ means something else. Welcome to TJ Maxx, everybody. TJ Maxx. Look at the shoes. Look at the shoes. I don't think they sell shoes here at TJ Maxx. Oh, yeah, I guess I think that's why. Oh, well, they do sell shoes, but lady shoes. No 
men's shoes. Um, okay, well, I guess, uh, I guess that's it. All right, let's go next door to the five below. What did this used to be? Oh, this used to be a famous footwear. But it went out of business, as you can see. Yeah, a lot of that going on. <clears throat> but thankfully, the five below didn't go out of business. Five Below is pretty popular. A lot of people like to shop here at Five Below because the prices are only five dollars and below. So let's go inside and I need a... Uh... Hello. I need a... What do I need? Hello. I just bought the... Uh... I just bought a little charging cable. I need an extra charging cable for my phone. I needed a short one. This is a four foot cable. A lot of the cable, charging cables I have right now is really long, like six feet, 10 feet. I really don't need it that long. Four feet's fine. Bought it here at the five below, where everything is $5 or below, or generally around $5. You know, inflation and all. Let's go. Maybe I'll go to the Dunkin' Donuts, have some donuts. Okay, let's go. Got some good donuts here at Dunkin' Donuts. And now, I'm gonna go. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful, sunny day. High temperatures in the 70s. Yeah. Weather is finally cooling down. Last week it was really hot. And this week it started to finally cool down. I guess it's, I guess it's almost um, fall. Fall actually officially starts on uh, Saturday, so it's gonna cool down. Right, I'm having my fall. Here at fall. Is it 98? No. Yeah, I think 98. Fall 98. And, uh, yeah. Enjoy my fall. Yeah, 498. Yeah, 498. He says around the school. 498. Okay. All right. Just got a haircut, as you can see. Huh. Why is the uh, screen all red? Yeah, I just got a haircut at this fancy place. It's a barber shop, but fancy was the chairs. The chairs were like made of like gold and leather and really, really cool looking chairs. Here's a picture of it, me sitting on the chair. Isn't that cool? Isn't that a cool looking barber's chair? Never seen a barber's chair that looks like that. It's gold and leather and really cool. Anyway, I'm off to another Ross dress for less because I saw that Air Jordan in that other Ross but no, none in my size so I'm checking out this Ross they might have an Air Jordan in my size okay well we're at the shoes I don't see any Air Jordans that's your typical shoes okay. they got a lot of shoes but no Air Jordans this is my size 10 and a half but no Nikes, some Adidas right there, but Pumas, but no Nikes. So what happened here? This guy rear-ended this guy, and his whole front end is smashed. Well, this is why you don't tailgate people. You would probably tailgating. This guy breaks suddenly, and then bam. That's what happens when you tailgate. Yep. Yeah, you're, I don't know if that's if that's fixable. I think maybe that's totaled. Yeah, that's a total wreck. And uh, the other guy won't pay the insurance because it's his fault. He was tailgating. 
Look at the back end of this guy, he's all smashed up.